a dramatic reading from the novel Fear of Incest by March Hastings, published in 1959. If you take one step in his direction, we're through. No friendship, no nothing. And you better hear this, because I mean what I say. I hear you. She pulled her hair back from her temples and tied it with a fragment of turquoise ribbon. So I'll take my box of oatmeal and I'll go to California. If it rains, I'll have cereal for breakfast. If not, I'll eat the oats dry. She shook the metal lipstick at him. Now you listen to this big shot. There's a future for me someplace. And it's not here in this two-bit hole with a stuffy bag of potatoes who hasn't got the sense to keep himself from getting all mashed up. I like you fine, but you're just another ego in pants crawling around the face of this earth who thinks he's 10 feet tall. Yeah, you saved me. I don't know for what, but you saved me. That was good for yesterday, and today is today. So pull your fat tongue back into your head and resign yourself. Nobody, not you, not me, nobody ever gets anywhere worth going by sitting around and using his brains all day long. Brains aren't big enough. There's got to be a heart somewhere, and you haven't got what it takes. She dropped the lipstick on the dresser and began stroking a tiny brush over her eyelashes.